Let's get started with today's video with some packages from the FedEx guys and let's see what they brought us. All right, so here they are. If you can tell anything by the label, we got Eastwood hydraulic wheel dollies. So let's unpackage these and take a look at them because we're gonna use them to move a few things around inside the shop here so we can get better organized with the vehicles. Let's go ahead and cut these open. Okay, so these again are the Eastwood wheel dollies. They're in item number 30551, I believe. Bought them off Amazon. I don't remember exactly. I think I bought these. So they come two to a set. You gotta buy two sets if you wanna move a car around in total. And I bought the stand as well. And I wanna say it was like maybe six or $650. So hopefully they work well for the kind of money, but it's better than lifting your car up and putting it on the stationary dollies. That's why I went with this option so you can wheel them underneath of there and then actually you can hydraulically pump them up right here and then lock the foot lever down. So let's go ahead and get them out of the package and let's give them a try. Give them a try with that on because I'm not spending two hours digging off blue paper protected film. Okay, so I was having some problems with this one actually being able to pump up and I actually went ahead and took it off of the car and just kept continually pumping it to let it suck itself back in, open it back up and this time it seemed to pump up just fine. I thought maybe there was an issue with fluid in it. Uh, the valve was shut. I made sure it was shut extra tight and I'm, I'm not sure, but so right here you've got your safety pin after you lift it up. It does go in further yet if you needed to lift it up further, but Obviously the car is off the ground there. So let's go ahead and get the last one under the back wheel and push this thing around. Okay, well that's not good. Well, as you can see here, the valve is tightened all the way. The valve here is tightened all the way, but the fluid is just running right out of the valve there. I'll try one more time just to see. All right, so taking a better look at this, I went ahead and screwed the, whatever you want to call it, the bleeder to bleed the pressure off. It's just a mechanism that goes inside of a 
little pinhole down inside there and it just looks like it should be like a brake bleeder and actually if this will focus just push against inside down in there and seal off so what I'm gonna do is I went ahead and grabbed an o-ring grabbed an o-ring here I'm just thinking if I take this o-ring and then I'm gonna put the o-ring on here to push against so that way maybe that'll seal that off I'm sure it's not the right way to do it because it looks like it should just screw in and actually seal against the cylinder down in there but we'll give this a shot and see I was really hoping to use them today so Okay, it's tightened up against the O-ring. Let's go ahead and uh, give it another shot. And nope, same thing. So that's a real bummer. As you can see there, they all work like they should, besides the fact that the one is completely dripping all over the floor, leaving a puddle. So we probably better go ahead and relieve the pressure on that one. I'm really honestly not sure what to do there. Maybe we'll try uh, removing the O-ring and just clamping down super tight to see if it'll seal. It's almost like it's just not machined properly inside that bore. Well, let's go ahead and let these down. Okay, so not really sure where we left off in that last clip. I actually had an issue with one of the dollies. And I think I showed it in the clip, but I, I just zip tied a rag around this valve here. But this valve is leaking. I did talk with Eastwood. They're going to replace it. Also found out you can buy these actually a lot cheaper direct from Eastwood versus going through Amazon. Just for anybody that's curious, you can save probably a couple hundred bucks. As you can tell, we actually moved the short bed here underneath the loft on this side so that way if I need to pull it out in this open area here I want to actually be able to start on this soon here I just want to at least get the motor pulled out of this it has the straight six in it and we are going to take that out to do the LS swap so I figured what a better time than just put it here now oops a few things on top but anyways then, like I said, I can use the cherry picker to get under here and actually start working on this. So that's why that's there. Move the daughter's car over here, which again needs a transmission in. She's going to be 14 next year. So I, I got a little bit of time on that. So, But I still need to get a transmission bought so that way I have it. Again, obviously the short bed blower truck is up on the hoist. There's the twin turbo truck. And over here I've got a little bit of rearranging to do. There's a 35 Ford over there, side by side and four wheeler. So now I can go ahead and get the Mustang actually moved back into this area here so I can pull my 98 Chevy in here for emergency use if I need to go out in a big snowstorm or haul something. Otherwise I'll plan on driving my 08 Mitsubishi Lancer. So there's a look at all that. Now we'll uh, Look at the other package that we actually got in the mail today. Now this next package, I may not look excited, but I am super excited for this. It's going to be awesome in the truck. I actually went on eBay and was able to find a new, unused, but out of the package or open box. And this is what I found here. This is a Holly Digital Dash. It's the 12.3 Pro Dash. And we're going to put this thing into the death trap so this is going to be awesome I need to figure out how we're gonna actually mount this in the dash make some kind of bracket it's slightly too big it actually came with everything I mean all the original stuff like I said the guy that had it said that he bought it for a project and actually wasn't going to work for his application so I guess you know his loss my gain 
I believe I paid maybe twelve or thirteen hundred dollars for it, and it's I think on sale like an eighteen hundred and fifty dollar dash. So we're gonna figure out a way to get that mounted. If I gotta make a custom bezel or something for that dash to go into, that's what we'll do. I know it's slightly larger than what the dash is height wise for the original gauge bezel. But we'll come up with something. So that, I, like I said, I'm super excited for that. We'll be able to do all of our tuning and stuff. Obviously, I'll still carry a laptop with me. But you'll be able to do stuff on the fly. I've read about the dash. I've looked at it for a while. Now, I actually have one of the 6.5 inch dashes already that I was going to run with the Dominator. But I've seen this and I couldn't pass it up. That's a wrap on today's video. I know it was a short one, but we got a review of the Eastwood wheel dollies, which they are actually going to replace one of those. Um, it's going to be coming in the mail here in the next few days. And I will have to send one back, I'm sure, as a warranty claim. I did also get to try out, it is actually the next day, I got to try out the uh, snowblower here that I picked up from our local Menards. This is the biggest one they had. It's a Craftsman 30-inch. It's got the electric chute and all the fancy stuff on it. Works like a charm. So, got the yard all cleaned up and everything. And that's really why I wanted to get, like, my Lancer here and the white truck, the uh, 98 Chevy Stepside into the shop that way i don't have to worry about trying to snow blow and start a bunch of vehicles up and get them out of my yard so that's it uh, again like comment share subscribe we really appreciate it we're going to go ahead in the next video here and actually get back onto the truck i want to get the fuel cell going so that way we can get our fuel lines fuel pump and hopefully the other stuff mounted up and we have another big surprise coming for that here it's probably going to be in the next maybe four to six weeks but we're going to be doing some more chopping on that thing and uh, beefing up some more stuff on it. So stay tuned. Subscribe because you're not going to want to miss this. A huge thanks to one of our uh, sponsors that we'll get to in that video. Thanks again.